हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम 5.4 फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर 5 द हीट इंजन साइकिल फ्रॉम द बुक अप्लाइड थर्मोडायनेमिक्स बाय टीडी स्टाफ एंड मिकोंकी द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम इज अ क्लोज साइकिल गैस टरबाइन यूनिट ऑपरेटिंग विद मैक्सिमम एंड मिनिमम टेंपरेचर्स of 760 and 20 degree centigrade has a pressure ratio of 7 by 1 calculate the ideal cycle efficiency and the work ratio so first of all we will write the given data in the statement so the temperatures are given This is the closed cycle on TS diagram. Temperature specific entropy diagram. So we have given maximum and minimum temperatures. If we look to this TS diagram, this is the highest temperature in the cycle. And similarly, this is the minimum temperature. So T3 is the maximum temperature and that is 760 degree centigrade also temperature t1 is the minimum temperature and it is 20 degree centigrade pressure ratio is 7 by 1 in this case we have given p2 by p1 which is the pressure ratio on compressor side and pressure ratio at the compressor uh, at the turbine side is p4 by p3 or p3 by p4 so it is again p3 by p4 is equal to 7 by 1 so we are required to find two things one is cycle efficiency and second we have to find the work ratio so coming to the solution of the problem first we will find the temperature t2 so it can be found from the expression given over here for adiabatic processes or isentropic process using this expression t2 by t1 equal to p2 by p1 power gamma minus 1 by gamma where gamma is the adiabatic index our isentropic index and its value is 1.4 for air so here we assume that the system has air as a working fluid so the value of gamma will be used as 1.4 so t2 can be found from here t2 will be equal to t1 into p2 by p1 power gamma minus 1 by gamma so putting the values we will get t2 is equal to t1 is 20 degree centigrade and converting this to kelvin it will become 293 kelvin so it is 293 into p2 by p1 is 7 by 1 and the value of gamma is 1.4 so 1.4 minus 1 over 1.4 simplifying this the value of t2 comes out 510.9 kelvin similarly 
we can find the heat supply that is QS and it is calculated from here in terms of temperature Cp into T3 minus T2 this is the PV diagram closed cycle and PV diagram again these four processes and these four processes are same from 1 to 2 is the isentropic compression on the PV diagram from 2 to 3 is the isobaric heat addition which is in the combustion chamber 3 to 4 is the expansion in the turbine and 4 to 1 is the heat rejection in the cooler so we are interested now to find the heat supplied and it is from 2 to 3 so heat supplied can be found from Q is, is equal to Cp into T3 minus T2 so putting the values the value of Cp is again given in the text and it is 1.005 kilojoule per kilogram per kilowatt so putting the values 1.005 into T3 is 760 and if we convert it to Kelvin it will become 1033 Kelvin so T3 is 1033 minus T2 is calculated which is 510.9 so heat supplied in the combustion chamber is equal to 524.7 kilojoule per kilogram Also, we can find the value of T4 using again this expression T3 by T4 equal to pressure ratio this RP stands for pressure ratio across the turbine so power gamma minus 1 by gamma so we can find the value of T4 from that expression T4 is equal to T3 over RP power gamma minus 1 by gamma. So putting the values T3 is 1033 Kelvin over pressure ratio is 7 by 1 power gamma minus 1 which is 1.4 minus 1 by 1.4. So simplifying this the value of T4 comes out 592.4 Kelvin. Now we can find now the heat rejected in the cooler. So heat rejection can be found from QR is equal to Cp T4 minus T1 if we look to the TS diagram so this is the heat rejection from 4 to 1 and on PV diagram it is from 4 to 1 here again from 4 to 1 on TS diagram and this is on PV diagram so putting the values CP is 1.005 the value of T4 is calculated which is 592.4 minus T1 is 293 Kelvin 
simplifying this we get 300.9 kilojoule per kilogram now it's very easy to find the cycle efficiency which is required in part 1 because cycle efficiency is equal to the net heat divided by the grass heat which is the heat supplied so net heat is basically the difference of heat supplied and heat rejection so heat supplied is 524.7 minus heat rejection is 300.9 so we will divide it by heat supplied which is also called grass heat and it is 524.7 kilojoule per kilogram so simplifying this the value of cycle efficiency comes out 0 0.4 or in percentage we can write that cycle efficiency is equal to 42.7% so this is the solution of part 1 now to find the work ratio for that again an expression is mentioned over here work ratio is the ratio of network output divided by the grass work output in this case network output is equal to the net heat and we can calculate the grass work output using the expression so work ratio is is the ratio of network divided by the grass work so in this case network is equal to the net heat and grass work can be calculated using the expression further it is equal to heat supplied minus heat rejected so grass work is equal to in expression form it is cp into t3 minus t4 this is the work developed across the turbine or it is output from the turbine so again putting the values 1.005 kilojoule per kilogram per kilo one into T3 is 1033 minus T4 is 592.4 so simplifying this the value of grass work comes out 442.8 kilojoule per kilogram so now it's very easy to find the value of net heat and the network output value is 223.8 we can write it like this over here 223.8 kilojoule per kilogram this is actually the difference of heat supplied and heat rejected so now to find the work ratio just putting the values of network and grass work network value is 223.8 kilojoule per kilogram and the value of grass work is 442.8 kilojoule per kilogram so simplifying this we get 0 0.505 so work ratio value is 
जीरो पॉइंट फाइव जीरो फाइव and this work ratio was required in part 2 and so this is the overall solution of problem 5.4 in which we found the cycle efficiency and work ratio for a closed cycle gas turbine unit thanks for watching please like and comment on my videos also subscribe my channel to get new videos